Well, I did a review of this, walkthrough of this deck, and when I looked at the preview, it was had all this glare on it. So that was kind of a drag. Now, uh, I took all the, turned all the lights off. There's a little bit of sunlight coming in here, not much. Let me see. Uh, we still got glare over here. I don't know why it's so dark in this room. So this is a deck I bought because it's adorable and it's for Halloween. But I, I mean, it's a really, it's a very readable deck, I would think. And uh, so let's see if I. I don't want to make that same mistake again. Putting this coffee over here. Move this over here. So I, um, as I said, I went through this already. I kind of don't want to do a whole, put every, put everything back. Because that would be, you know, work. So there you go. There's the deck. And I just want to make sure we get, I don't like there's that, glare here. I guess the uh, the cards are, they're not quite matte. They look matte, but they do catch the light. But I think everything else looks pretty good. So what we're going to do is, I, since I went through this, I'm going to go through it a different way because otherwise I'll get bored. So uh, this was a layout. You have some cups on this layout. I just I just laid them out to, see, to show you how they would look if they were all laid out. Uh, the, the, the deck is really charming. I am not crazy about the aces. They're sort of redundant. I don't like the aces. Um, but I love, I love this deck. Love the borders. Uh, they're very, very uh, precise. They're beautiful. The borders are, you know, they have this wrought iron, but that fits the, the, the tone of the deck. Um, a lot of clear, this is a collage deck, but there's a lot of clarity, a lot of sharpness. This, the, um, the, the sharpness of, of the DPI or whatever it's called is really high end. I don't know. It's probably 600 or something. I don't know. But, um, of course that's, is that in print or is that in computer talk? Anyways, it's quite very sharp, which I really like. Um, so the deck, so the cards are very distinctive. There's a lot of elements on each card. I'm going to just go show you. Here are the backs. And so they're reversible. It came with like a little artist card. And it came with, this is a postcard, which I will use. So now someone a postcard. Uh, this postcard is from this deck that I had purchased. And then uh, the cover, you know, the box, is this one, a trick or tarot, duck soup. On the cover you have the high priestess. Beautiful picture. I like, I love the cards where there, there's women in them that are kind of uh, in the forefront, and so they're a little larger. But there's so much beautiful detail in all these cards. It also comes with a little white book, which is quite good. His little white books are are really good, I think. They're they're just keywords, but he he really has he's taken some he he's been thoughtful with the keywords that he uses. In my opinion. Uh, what I'm going to do is just lay them out. Continue just laying them out and saying what they are. Um, okay, they're uh, they're clearly numbered at top. And then the, the title, this is the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. There's some order to this because uh, I just went through it. The Six of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. It's got the Lemon Scott there. And the, the movement, you can see the movement in the card, which is very interesting. The Ten of Pentacles. Here's the Ten of Swords. Which is nice. It's it's there's not bloody. You would think it'd be bloody, but it's not. It's the swords in the in the coffin. There's no blood. I like that. And it talks in the it talks about the keywords for the ten of swords. Uh, let's see. A disaster beyond your ability to cope. So there you go. 
Well, you have to cope sooner or later, so. Uh, this is the Eight of Swords. No, that's the Nine of Swords. This is the Eight of Swords. And the Seven of Swords. Um, the Six of Swords. The Five of Swords. The Four of Swords. Here's another one I like a lot. This is the Three of Swords, and we all know what the Three of Swords is. So she's wearing a locket, and uh, the swords are in the locket. And the Three of Swords says, regret. Just one word, regret. I like that. Keep it simple. The Ace of Swords. Again, this is another ace that... Uh, I'm not crazy about the aces. They're just a little bit too boring for me. The Nine of Cups. The Eight of Cups. The Seven of Cups. Six of Cups. It's another beautiful picture. Uh, it's called the Five of... Well, it's called... It is the Five of Cups. Now there's only, there's holding one cup, there's a cup down here. You don't see all five cups, but you do see the two cups that are overturned. And probably the other three cups are behind her. Just a very poignant picture. Uh, the, the contrast and the, her face, a very, you know, soulful, sorrowful, sour, sorrow, sorrowful. Sorrowful? Ah, I can't believe I do videos. You know, I can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah, I can't talk. Okay, four of cups. Three of cups. Uh, two of cups. Ace of cups. Again, another ace. I like this one. I, I went on about this one. Uh, ten, of, ten of wands. I went on about candy bars, and there's a Clark bar. That was my favorite candy bar when I was young. I loved Clark bars. And then I, I, I went over to uh, to the Fifth Avenue bars. I liked those. And then, of course, there was always the... Uh, which one was that called? The Snickers. You know, Snickers is a classic. But Clark bar, I haven't seen one of those. I think they still make them, though. But Okay, enough about me. Uh, this is the uh, Nine of Wands. I like this Eight of Wands. Uh, it's hard to see when I put it on top of each other, but let's put it this way. The Eight of Wands. And I like the description for that one, too. Eight of Wands. Triumphant news riding swift in the night skies. So that's a nice thought. Triumphant news riding the night sky. I like that. And we have your uh, seven of wands. The numbers are up here. They're small. They're discreet. And then, of course, the, the element or the suit is down here. Wands. Six of wands. Five of wands. Four of wands. Now, I did talk about this one as well. Uh, I talk, I, I, I'm sort of... I mean, I've talked more than once about these these two cards, and uh, you can't see them with under under those things. But um, uh, these are the um, the two and the three of wands. Now, in the Rider Waite Smith, I always think of them. I can't really tell. I mean, I know they're different. One has two wands, and one has three, but they just they're not different enough. They're not unique enough. So here, very different. The the wands suits the, the two and three are very different, and I'll tell you what the description is. The Two of Wands is at a crossroads, a moment of decision. And here we see the woman standing, uh, making, you know, she has two ways to go here, and she's at a crossroads. So it's very, she has to make a decision, she's at a crossroads. I love, love that. And then here, he says, uh, the three, carefully laid plans bearing fruit. So here we have a, a card catalog from a library, carefully laid plans, you know, I mean, you could put, you can consider that, you know, the plans are in each each drawer, and they're bearing fruit. They're coming out. So I really like that too. So that fits more with. It's very, it's very good. It's very visual, and it fits better with the actual numbers, the twos and the threes. I like that. I think those two cards. 
tell a lot about his um, how he sees the uh, the tarot. Uh, this is the Ace of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Now he do does talk. He spends a little bit of time on the court cards. He, he's uh, the kings are all intellect, the queens are all heart, the knights are all spirit, and the earth is all and the pages are all hands. So he, he equates kings with air, queens with water, knights with fire, and pages with earth. So he has that element connected to each of the court cards. And then he also spends time with uh, defining each one as well. So uh, this is probably, you know, this is a very good um, court card cheat sheet for you to have. And so we have uh, the, the Page of Pentacles. The pages are younger people. The knights are uh, writing something. He's not writing. He's too big to get in the car. But that's a nice Knight of Pentacles. He's used this motif before, I think. Queen of Pentacles. So she's on roller skates, of course. Um, King of Pentacles. The Page of Swords. The Knight of Swords. There's riding a bat. The Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. I don't think they're married. Uh, the King is an owl and the Queen of Swords is rest, dressed up for Halloween, I guess. The Page of Cups. The Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. Queen of Wands. The King of, King of Wands. See, they're not... So I guess the Kings are uh, animals... And the queens are look like they're younger people, younger women. The world card, Aeon is the judgment card. The sun card, the moon, the tower, old scratch, the devil. Art is temperance. And he describes art as... I like the description for art as well. Inner gratification, unification of opposites, the alchemical process at work. Well, that's cool. That's a nice, that's a nice uh, card. Very nice card. This is the devil card. And it talks about transformation. The hanged man. Strength, that's awesome. The Wheel of Fortune, the Hermit card. Adjustment is Justice, that's a pretty card. Chariot, the Lovers, the Hierophant. In uh, the other deck that he did, the a tinker's a damn tarot. The hierophant was a librarian, and here we have a, a kind of a crone. Let's see how he describes her. Um, number five, right? The flame, keeper of the flame, tradition, history, education, hard learned wisdom. So, you know, crone energy, to say the least. The emperor and the empress. He's an older man, married an older man. The high priestess, that's a beautiful card. The magician, another great card. And at last, but not least, the fool. So here you go. I This is my second run on this deck. I have no idea how it's... the. It, it's almost... It's really dark in here, so I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. So this is the trick or, the trick or tarot deck, Duck Soup Productions. It's a collage deck. It's beautifully done. It comes with, I, at least I was sent, a um, postcard. This is the Fool from the uh, Tinker's Dam Tarot. It comes with a nice little book, too, as well. And then I had a little card. I think this came with the deck, a little business card. 
So uh, you can get it on his website, and it was $30, included shipping in the United States anyways. So that was a cool deal. I will read with these. I think they're, um, I think the key words for uh, the tarot are, are worth, worth looking at, in my opinion. Okay, that's it, guys. Have a great day.